among the many, many plugins out there, you may want to look at some of the portfolio plugins. So we're going to do that now. I'm going to choose Add New, and I'm going to look up Portfolio. And then I'm going to hit Search plug Plugins. And there's many, many portfolio options out here. I've played with a few of them. I'm going to show you how to use one. I've been playing with this one. It works pretty well and has some cool features. So I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to activate my plugin. And you'll notice that once I've done that, I have a new option in my dashboard. And I can go into my different settings for it. I can choose to show related projects on or off. I can choose this is going to be my portfolio rewrite slug. And it's various options here. And I'm going to pretty much leave it all set the way it is. And I'm going to go to portfolio categories. And I'm going to have dogs. Dogs. And that's not going to have a parent. Then I'm going to add another new category, and I'm going to have Mary Help. Mary Help for the slug. Videos from MaryHelp.net. Okay, and then I'm going to hit Add, and then I've got these here. Okay, so now I can go into my portfolio. This I have actually been playing with that I had a few added before. I'm going to move those to trash and start over. Okay, so I'm going to add a new one. And I'm, these come in as posts. I'm going to put in Nessie as the name of it. Uh, Nessie is my youngest dog, and I'm going to add media. And I can actually put a slideshow in here, which is sort of cool, or gallery. And I can pick a couple pictures of Nessie, create new gallery, okay, and insert gallery, and that's going to insert it in here into my portfolio. Then I can choose if I want, I can add a featured image here. Um, I like that one. And if I want to, I could add feature video, which I'll do in the next step. I put in a subtitle. And publish. Then I'm going to go back to my portfolio. I'll show you that I have Nessie here. I'm going to add a new one. I'm going to call it MaryHelp.net. And I'm going to add media. I'm going to add media a couple ways. MaryHelp.net is used to organize content from my YouTube channel. Here is a sample video. And one of the cool things here in Facebook is if I want to share something from YouTube, I can actually just um, share the video, copy this. You don't actually need any embed tags for this way of sharing it. And I can paste this. Right here, if I hit publish, I can view this post and you'll see it'll drop my video right in here, which is pretty nice. And it will actually play 
I want to make sure to view my videos in HD, but it'll probably embed it right into WordPress. Often once you have added images and you can see this is part of the portfolio. Site, you may want to edit them. Let's take now in this portfolio page, it gives me another option for adding video. We'll call this one Mary Help Two. Another way to add video. And it gives me the option here, instead of featured images, I can do featured video. And this one wants the embed video, the iframe code. So here, I'd choose embed, copy, and paste. And I can publish this. And I can view my post. And it again will post it right here at the top. And notice how you have my menu. I don't have any sidebar here. And this is Mary Help Too. Now notice, previous takes me to my last video. Previous takes me to my prior page, which has Nessie. I don't really like the way that featured video turned out, or featured image turned out, but you can see that your portfolio becomes a series of posts with an option to go to the next and the next, and so you can see each post in your portfolio. So that's one way of doing portfolios in WordPress. As you could see, there were a lot of different options out there, and you should try them. To get rid of them is very easy. If you don't like them, you go back to the dashboard and your plugins, and you just hit deactivate, and then you can delete it if you don't like it and it will go away. And you can choose yes if you want to delete the files and data. And then it's gone, and if I go back to visit my site, that portion of my site is gone, but it doesn't impact anything else. So I encourage you to try multiple slideshows or portfolios. See which one you like best. You should take some time to play with them.